Alter Ego is an American magazine devoted to comic books and comic book creators of the 1930s to late 1960s periods comprising what fans and historians call the Golden Age and Silver Age of comic books. It was founded as a fanzine by Jerry Bales in 1961, and later taken over by Roy Thomas. Ten issues were released through 1969, with issue number 11 following nine years later. In 1999, following a five-issue run the previous years as a flip book with comic book artist, Alter Ego began regular bi-monthly publication as a formal magazine with glossy covers. Tuamaro's Publishing is the owner of the magazine and it is headquartered in Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> Volume 1 Alter Ego supported the superhero revivals of the era that Jerry Bales dubbed, "...the second heroic age of comics", popularly known as the Silver Age of comic books. DC Comics editor Julius Schwartz encouraged Bales and collaborator Roy Thomas, who would eventually become Marvel Comics editor-in-chief. Bales contacted readers whose letters had appeared in DC's The Brave and The Bold No. 35, the first comic book to print readers' full mailing addresses in its letter column. Some of those readers were active in other fandoms, and helped spread word of mouth about Alter Ego. Schwartz loaned Bales his copies of the comics and science fiction fanzine Zero, and Bales wrote to everyone in their letter column as well. Soon, Bales was receiving two or three responses daily from people interested in subscribing. The first issue of Alter Ego appeared in March 1961. Bales' wife Sandra typed out the contents, and the lettering was done with plastic lettering guides. The 22-page issue featured three JSA-related articles, two columns, and an amateur comic strip. A cover featuring the "'Bestest League of America", a Roy Thomas parody of the Justice League of America. The editorial, "'A Matter of Policy". On the drawing board. Four pages of news, including advance word of the forthcoming, "'Flash of Two Worlds". Story Flash No. 123, previews of the upcoming Batman and Secret Origins annuals, and hints of the Atom revival slated for Showcase No. 34. The Wiles of the Wizard, Portrait of a Villain. Reincarnation of the Spectre. Thomas's proposal for a new version of the Spectre, as a man divided into two characters representing good and evil, Ego and Id, the Spectre and Count Dis. Merciful Minerva, the story of Wonder Woman. The Bestest League of America. The first chapter of Thomas's Justice League of America parody, Alter Ego also sponsored the Alley Awards, a series of comic book awards that lasted until the end of the 1960s. By the awards' third year, the number of ballots received had become so overwhelming that Bales called for a fan get together at which votes could be tabulated by group effort. This gathering of Midwestern fans, held in March 1964 at Bales Detroit Michigan area home of Bales, was dubbed the Alley Tally, and its success provided inspiration for the organizing of comic book fan conventions that began soon afterward. The original run of Alter Ego lasted 11 issues, spread over 17 years. Ten issues were released between 1961 and 1969, with issue number 11 following nine years later, in 1978. Bales edited and published the first four issues before turning it over to fan artist Ron Foss and, initially, Foss' wife Myra and his friend Grass Green who edited issues hash 5 to 6. Thomas edited a further four issues, and issue number 11 almost a decade later in collaboration with Mike Friedrich. Some material from the original Alter Ego was collected into trade paperback by Bill Shelley as Alter Ego Best of Legendary Comics Fanzine Hamster Press, 1997. ISBN 0 9645669 2 3 Volume 2 In 1997, at a reunion of comics fans, Roy Thomas and comics historian Bill Shelley met with Tomorrow's Publishing and agreed to bring back Alter Ego as a component of Tomorrow's comic book artist magazine. Thomas reprised his role as editor, with Shelley becoming associate editor. In spring 1998, Alter Ego Vol. 2 debuted as a flip book with comic book artist. 
This arrangement lasted for five issues, which have subsequently been collected into a book, Alter Ego, the Comic Book Artist Collection Tomorrow's Publishing, 2006. ISBN 978-1-893905-59-7. Volume 3 Alter Ego became its own magazine again in 1999, again with Thomas as editor, and formatted as a glossy magazine. It is published by Tomorrow's Publishing. FCA, the Fawcett Collectors of America fanzine, is published as part of Alter Ego. Shelley has contributed a series of comic fandom archive articles to nearly every issue, as well as a column that usually focuses on notable fans of the 1960s and 1970s. Awards In 2007, Alter Ego was nominated for an Eagle Award for Favorite Magazine About Comics, and won the Eisner Award for Best Comics-Related Periodical, Publication. <laughs>